Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Luck Be A Landlord, a game about paying rent in what can only be described as a far off distant dystopic future, whereby rent prices are increasing so fast the tenants must resort to gambling in order to pay them. Wait, sorry, when I said distant future, I read literally the world we live in, woo! That's meta commentary ladies and gentlemen. Now this is a wonderful game, it's just escaped early access ladies and gentlemen, and you know what that means, that means it's going to be absolutely rammed with exploits and perfectly balanced gameplay features for me to manipulate. Don't worry, the developer has had years to fix them, but I'm going to be doing my best to just create a little bit of shenanigans. So ladies and gentlemen, it's time to grab yourself a nice refreshing cup of Yorkshire Tea Gold and get comfortable as I'm about to show you how to conquer and beat the rental market. Welcome to Luck Be a Landlord. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the glorious world of Luck Be a Landlord. Now we're very, very lucky indeed, because in this night Nightmarish apocalypse, it's incredibly difficult to afford to live. But don't worry, our lovely landlord, Landy McLandlord, has offered us a rental accommodation in a glorious apartment complex with only a minor case of asbestos. But anyway, don't worry, we've got a complimentary slot machine in our apartment, which allows us to generate money by spinning it. And this is great because this allows us to pay our rent. There's just one issue, our rent is 25 gold coins and we have five spins in order to pay it. So um, let's begin. Now our starting slot machine is pretty redundant. Doesn't exactly have anything fancy, but it'll be completely fine. Now, we're not really looking for anything too great in the early game. Maybe just a few cats, some urns, that sort of thing. Just to generate a little bit of cash so we can survive paying our first few bits of rent. And there we go. We've made it to rent payment number one. There we go. We just need to pay 25 gold. Perfect. And oh no, the rent has doubled. What is this, London? Jeez. Well, don't worry. This is completely fine. We've been given five more spins to just simply pay 50 gold this time. It's okay, we'll be fine, we'll manage it, we'll manage it. Now we've got two more spins, but luckily 45 gold in the bank, so we should have no problem in actually surviving to this rent payment. Look at us go, yes, 61 gold, perfect, perfect, perfect. And there we go, we now just have to pay up our rent, that's fine, Landy McLandlord, 50 gold, no problem, I can manage it. I've got 72 gold in the bank, this is perfectly fine, and our rent's doubled again to 100 gold, but luckily we've been granted six spins this time. It's okay, six spins, we can manage it, it'll be okay. Oh my goodness, I just realized this game is the best game of the year. You can actually pet the dog. This is amazing. Oh, fantastic. Game of the year. IGN 10 out of 10. Now, luckily for us, I'm slightly ahead of the curve, thanks to all of these cats I have. So I should be able to manage this lovely rent payment. Oh, and achievement unlock, pet the dog for one minute or more. There's an achievement for that? Lovely. Well, anyway, I have to pay rent now, but that's fine. 100 gold, we can manage it. The rent has now been increased to 150. 50, but this should be okay, but... <gasps> Yes, the communists have gotten involved. The communists are perfect, lovely. Thanks to their mutual aid network, they've given me some reroll tokens and removal tokens, allowing me to remove symbols and reroll the potential symbols I can get. Oh, this is wonderful. And here we have it, ladies and gentlemen. We're actually able to pay rent. Our rent is due, but yes, we can pay up Mr. Landlord. There we go. Uh, now we have seven spins to generate 225 gold, which is going to be very challenging, but don't worry. I have many lovely ways to generate money. And we are going for one very particular build. We're going for one that relies almost entirely on completely and utterly broken cultists and witches and hexes, which I'm going to have to hopefully get more of because my goodness, where the heck are they? <gasps> there we go, our first cultist. Yes, it's only taken a uh, literal millennia, but here's why we want cultists, ladies and gentlemen. Cultists stack really well. They give one gold more for each other cultist you have. So if you have 20 cultists, then each cultist is giving 20 gold, which would be absurdly good. Good. And there we go, there's our second cultist, lovely. Now, I am going to have to probably remove some chaffs. I'm going to remove the cherry that does nothing for us, and the pearl that also does nothing for us. But there we go, we can now spin, and our two cultists will activate, giving us one gold each. Which isn't much, but it can be improved. And I have three spins to make 425 gold. Uh, I want to re-roll. God, these are all terrible. <laughs> this is so bad. Okay, right, spin it. Come on, spin. Spin. Come on, cow. Do something good. Make some milk or something fun. Oh, dear, this is all 
all really bad. It's fine. I think we can just about survive-ish. Um, and we're bound. 452 gold. We can spend 425. Oh my goodness. And the red has been increased to 575 gold. We have nine spins to do it in. Oh bugger. This is not very good. Oh gosh. This is such a messy build. Oh, this is not going well in the slightest. Got to make 170 gold in one spin. I'm buggered. I'm so buggered. This is just absolutely buggered spin. No. Come on. My perfect build is ruined. You style oh, bugger. Right. Retry. And we get a cultist first roll. Perfect. This is just literally everything I need. I just need more cultists. Oh, another cultist. Yes. There we go. Two cultists. And we get the dog activation. Come on. This has to be the roll. This has to be the roll. We just need to make eight gold this spin or something like that. There we go. Yes. We survived. We can pay our rent. Yes. Our rent has doubled, but that's fine. Oh, and there we go. There's a third cultist, ladies and gentlemen. We're up to three cultists. Fantastic. There we go. They're all going to start giving us just a little bit more money. And that little bit more money is going to be what ticks us over the edge into actually surviving this horrific rental market. Oh, this is glorious. Perfect stuff indeed. We'll live. We're going to live. And I can afford to pay my rent. Oh, it's perfect. It's wonderful. Okay, we are to an actual extent somehow surviving this run. Just a little bit. These cultists are doing good and we're able to pay rent. And that actually, even after paying rent, has left us with 85 gold, which is absurdly good. I've also added in these arrows, which are quite good. Uh, they double the coins on whatever thing they're facing, which for us is very useful. And that's a fourth cultist. Four cultists, ladies and gentlemen. That means each cultist is now adding uh, four gold each. Oh, and that's a fifth cultist. Here we go. And now they activate. And look, they double themselves. They double. That's 10 gold from that cultist. Oh, yes. Rental market. You thought you could beat me. You cannot. Oh, this is going splendidly well, ladies and gentlemen. Our deck is improving. Our cultists are becoming superior. That was 60 gold on that spin. And there's an additional cultist here. Fantastic. Let us remove the pearl. We don't need the pearl. This allows the cultist to be in the spin. Look at the cultists. There's so many of them. And they're all giving six gold each. Oh, and look, they can even get doubled. They can even all get doubled. Twelve gold each of those cultists. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we will survive this. We will. I knew we would. Oh, I can finally pay rent. I will finally be able to pay rent. Yes, we only have to pay 300 in rent. We're already over 500 gold. This is wonderful. I am ahead of you, game. I cannot be stopped. Oh, 300 rent? No problem. I have 600 gold, you puny landlord. Oh, this is the power of the cultists. Now, I am already up to 530 gold, and this is pretty good, and our build is doing great, but realistically, we're still not in kind of like the end game uh, build just yet. It's good, but it's not perfect. What we're looking for, ladies and gentlemen, is an eldritch horror, something that feeds off of our cultists, and we'll use the power of the cultists to get stronger and stronger and stronger. <gasps> there we go. We found the frozen fossil. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, frozen fossil uh, on its own, normally not very good. It's just pretty basic and takes 20 spins to break, but when it breaks, it creates an eldritch creature. Yes, this is it. We're going to break the game now. Okay, right. Here we go. Infinite money. Here we come, ladies and gentlemen. And there we have it. We have the witch. Yes, we finally rolled into a witch. Okay, the witch is great because they're going to double the value of any nearby cats, any nearby hexes, and any nearby eldritch creatures, of which we're about to get ourselves one. Now, um, 575 June, one spin. If we skip this spin, we can get a rare. Let's do it. Why not? I'm feeling very confident in our abilities. So we're going to get some more rerolls and such. And all of these are pretty terrible. So I'll grab the buffing capsule. Oh my goodness, this nearby witch did so much work. Like, um, Oh, yes, there we go. Loads of gold. Loads of gold. Here we go. We've got the necessary removal and another cultist. We're going to remove one of our hexes, and this is going to result in our lovely frozen fossil cracking next spin. So, yes, it will now crack itself open and turn itself into a nightmarish eldritch creature, and it's going to eat all of our nearby hexes and monsters and goblins. Oh, yes, fantastic eldritch creature. And now we can just also swap the position of the eldritch creature again to make sure it eats all of these guys. Now, the eldritch creature is perfect, 
because it permanently increases its value every time it devours a hex. So it's going to be giving us like 13 gold each turn. And if a witch sits next to it, that's going to be times by two, which is very, very nice indeed, which is exactly what has happened here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move a cultist right over next to our Eldritch Horror. The witch will activate on the Eldritch Horror and the Eldritch Horror will eat all of them going up to generating us 30 gold. Very nice indeed. Oh, and yes, it's another frozen fossil. This is perfect. This is perfect. And we can also double up the directions our arrows point in. Oh, this is absurd. Oh, this is going to get very, very good. Now, this frozen fossil will also crack itself open immediately this run, which is going to be very jazzy indeed. I'll move these symbols around. We get ourselves a second Eldritch Horror, and all of these bad boys are now generating us 17 gold each. Perfect stuff. Yes. Oh, this is glorious. I'm going to see if I can get a double trigger on one of these uh, void creatures. And yes, there we go. That's one double trigger, which means we're going to be able to get 34 gold from it. Lovely. And there's a cultist. Yes, which is probably going to get eaten up next turn. Uh, or in the very least, I can force it to by moving a lovely Eldritch Horror next to it. Meaning they all get chomped and both of these bad boys give an extra gold. Lovely stuff. Okay, we're now up to 968 gold, which is very good considering we have more than enough rent now. And it's just a simple case of trying to make as much money as possible. I was trying to activate as many doubling triggers on our lovely Eldritch Horrors as is achievable. Oh, and yay, another cultist has arrived. Glorious cultist must now be sacrificed. I'm sorry, my friends. I don't make up the rules. All I do is make sure you die. Oh, and yes, we get to double both of our Eldritch Horrors. That's 80 gold for both of them. Yes. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Will I skip the final spin? Yes, I will. I've got more than enough money. I mean, I've got seven spins to go and I'm already well over my rental cap, which is very, very nice indeed. I don't want to skip this final spin of 777. Yes, I will, because I would like to continue playing on endless mode. There we go. That's right. We're just going to continuously end up murdering ourselves and uh, hopefully the game will not die because this is going to start spiraling out of control. But yes, we've now got 10 spins to make a thousand gold, which is um, probably manageable, especially because we've just generated a beast master, which if it lands next to a cultist won't be killed unlike the witch, but will double the money from it. And yes, because we can just force the Beastmaster to make sure that it's adjacent to our Eldritch Horrors every time, uh, then we're kind of just guaranteed to make a kind of a terrible amount of money, like 108 gold from that one Eldritch creature there, uh, which is a little bit more than the game kind of intends you to be generating. Um, yes, money is definitely going very good for us. Very, very good. Oh, I think we just got a times four on this bad boy up here. Come on. Yes, 224 gold. Oh, it's so easy, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we've got five spins and we're already very much ahead of the curb, which is exactly where I want to be. Now, this does seem, I'm sure, very jazzy. You're probably like, wow, Spiff, this is definitely a decent build and one cut out for endless mode, but can it get better? And the answer to that is, yes, of course it can. And that's where we're taking it. We're taking this to its logical, most extreme position. There we go. We're going to get another rare from this roll. What do we get? Okay, these all suck. However, if I re-roll, <gasps> witch or dove? Okay, dove can get very, very very good. Because the dove prevents things from being destroyed, potentially we can stack it with our beast masters to do absurd stuff. Oh no. No! This item's in the game? Coffee? If you can't afford your rent, you may destroy this item and spend an additional time. I hate coffee! But god damn it, this item is too good! No! No, that's terrible. That's... Oh, look what you made me do, game. Look what you made me do. That's that's literally the worst. This is the worst thing that's ever happened to me in video game history. Okay, and I will also skip the final spin just to guarantee a rare there we go. Why not? It makes sense. Now we've got to get up to 2,500 gold, which shouldn't be too impossible, especially because we just got another beast master. There we go. Oh, these guys are going to start stacking each other, aren't they? All right, if I put all of these beast masters together, will they double stack these, um, these nightmarish boys and just yield better results? Will they? Will they? How much? 232 gold. That's very good. That's pretty good. We can do better, though. I know we can. Okay, right. We now have a bunch of hexes, so I'm going to start having these eldritch nightmares uh, start devouring the hexes just to increase their value even more up to a lovely plus 27 and that means we can grab ourselves yet another beast master my goodness these rolls are getting very nice indeed oh my goodness and i've got the wild card as well okay wild card is brilliant it's going to give gold equal to the highest value among adjacent symbols which means uh, it basically is going to double the eldritch creatures if we manage to get them next to it which we can actually do well bam let's put it there and now if we get a spin trigger onto our eldritch horror which is a chance come on go yes there we go uh we're gonna have a double hit here, which is going to be two 248s in. Lovely stuff indeed. Can I re-roll here? Oh yes, we've got a hex. Perfect. Hex is just another lovely chance
chance for our glorious Eldritch Horrors to improve themselves, yes. Okay, and once again we're ahead on rent, so I'll pay 3,500 just to uh, skip to the next spin immediately. And uh, now the goal is 4,000 gold in 10 spins, which shouldn't be too bad. Reroll again. Silver Arrow, okay, this is it. If it points in a random direction, it will triple the amount of money we generate, which is exactly what we're going to want. So now if I get very sneaky and put my lovely silver spinner here, there's a chance I can triple one of these effects. Come on, hit good. Yes, it hits the dove. That's going to give us a very tasty 252, of course, doubled by the wild card. Oh my goodness, we've got a really good spin here. This is good. Oh, this is good. We've got a big dove trigger. Big old dove trigger into... T oh my god, 1,300 gold on the wild card. What the heck? Okay, I am doing good. I am doing very, very good. I think we might be slightly ahead on rental payments. But yes, it turns out that the wild card can be affected by the tripling as well, so it will take the highest tripled value and then triple that, which is, as you can imagine, pretty good. Got a good potential roll here. We've got a very good potential roll here with the wild card. Come on, please. Please triple spin. Uh, okay, that's fine. That's okay. It's not the best. It'll do. That's... Oh, wait, no, that was 6,000 gold. That, was, that will do more than do. We are kind of power creeping a little bit ahead of our competition. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this game, of course, intends us to make maybe a few hundred, maybe a few thousand with each spin. But thanks to the glorious community cult, we're able to generate thousands and thousands and maybe even millions of each spin. However, with that level of money coming in in such a short period of time, His Majesty's Revenue and Customs are starting to take a look at my accounts and wondering what's going on. Consequently, please like the video and comment this is not a cult to ensure that I am not arrested. Take that, HMRC. What proof do you have now? Absolutely none, I tell Oh, you. Okay, we're going to be able to chomp on two hexes this run, which is very, very good indeed. Oh, and we're going to get a lot of money. We're going to get a lot of money. There's a triple on this. Come on, what do we get? Come on, show me good. Show me good. 1,000. That's 1.1 E! What? That's fine. We're up to 36,000, which puts us slightly ahead on rental payments, uh, which is good. I like being ahead on rental payments. 6,000 gold down the drain. Next target is 6,500. That's completely fine. Do I want any of these? No, re-roll. Do I want any of these? No, re-roll. Silver arrow, you'll do nothing. Nicely. You may respin a column of symbols once in every five spins. Symbols in the respun column give two times gold. <gasps> Potentially the best thing in the known universe. Okay, right, let me kill this hex of draining and spin. All right, here's a shot of perfection. Let's go. We've got the Beastmaster. We've got the wild card. The wild card has been buffed. We've buffed the Eldritch Horror. Come on, yes, this could be good. This could be, oh, it's been buffed again. Come on, please be good. 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 1,000, that's 4,000. Okay, we like 4,000. And a hex of tedium that can be immediately removed. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we're gaming just in the way the developers exactly intended the game to be gamed. Oh, and we can respin a column. <gasps> okay. Right. Symbols in the respawn column give two times more value. So let me respin this column, then allow me to swap this symbol with this. And here we go. We've got a chance of a good double here. Good chance of a double. And the dove just got buffed. We can buff the wild card. We're in money. And the dove just got tripled. And there was a triple onto the wild card. Come on. This is it. And it got another tripling. Come on, money, 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 money. 2,000. That's another one. E. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. The game was not built for 10,000, but we've done it. Endless mode, ladies and gentlemen. 7.7 E4. That's my favorite quantity of gold coins. Right, because I'm doing so good in the game, I'm actually going to try and increase the game speed. So spin speed is now going to be at four times. Animation speed, four times. Counting speed, four times. Menu speed four times let's go the game is panicking but here we go we're now at giga speed gameplay oh my god look at the arrow spinning yes this is good and there we go wow loads of money woo gameplay okay quite good oh we got another eldritch creature oh yes another one. Oh, this is perfect oh this is very good we can have three eldritch creatures on the battlefield at the same time all buffing each other to absurd quantities and that was 10 grand from that one okay lovely and i will pay rent early yes why not because i have so much money and that's only eight thousand I mean, this is this is a walk in the park. A frozen fossil, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yes, which will immediately turn into another Eldritch. Oh, yes, another very profitable one. There we go. That was 
40 grand that time. And uh, we are getting about two hexes every time we roll, which is good. And that's an extra two gold for each Eldritch creature we have, which is of course increased by even more because of all of the goddamn spinny things. Oh my goodness, potentially a very good run. Come on. Yes. Okay, we're up to 400,000. That was a pretty good roll, if I do say so myself. Money is looking good. Yes. Also, our dove is now very, very good. It's up to uh, 99, effectively. Okay, right. We've got a very good roll here. Okay, that was another like 20 grand. Wonderful stuff. Oh, frozen fossil. This is going to turn into another eldritch horror forest. Good stuff indeed. Okay, right. The rental calculation cost is now going to be a bit silly. I'm due to pay 1e4 in one spin's time. Can I do that? Yes, I can. I can pay 1e4. Um, that's fine. Uh, we can do that, no problem. Oh, yes, we've got some more potential stuff here. This is all terrible, so I'll skip. This is all terrible, uh, which is okay. Oh, my goodness, some rusty gear. Three or more of the same symbols are adjacent. They give two times more. <gasps> So if I get three Eldritch creatures in a line, okay, right. We've got a potential one here. Let's go. They're all going to buff each other. This is then going to take money from the top. And yep, there we go. That We just made a bunch of cash. Lovely. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, things are going rather nicely for me, if you couldn't tell. It's been a very successful run, I would say. This was just meant to be a short video. This is meant to be like a cute, short, sweet video. No problem. Nothing too fancy. But no, it's just turned into uh, how much obscene quantities of money can I make? The answer ladies and gentlemen won't surprise you it's oh god it's a lot it's another wild card okay two wild cards very good another beast master potentially fine let's go spin okay so two wild cards now is very good because i'm pretty sure they stack off of each other as well and uh one e4 is due yep i'll happily pay one e4 let me pay that early no problem and the rent has increased to 1.1 e4 yeah i think we can keep up with that okay i'm now making close to like 50 grand every spin, which as you can imagine is uh, proving to be very profitable for me. Uh, very, very profitable indeed. Uh, especially when I can just grab effectively free hexes and use that to immediately buff my Eldritch creatures even more. They are getting very powerful. Yes, very good boys. We love our good boys. Our good money making boys. Wow. Oh yes, let's respin this. Let's move this into here. Come on, make me some money. Make me the money stuff. Yes. Okay, we're up to 1 million. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Oh, 1.1e4, don't mind paying that. So that's what, like 10,500 rent? Uh, yeah, it's it's that. Okay, no problem. Oh my goodness, we got yet another wild card. Fantastic. Yes, I'll grab three wild cards. Why not? Okay, this is going to be a good one. We're on 3.6, but make that 3.7. Oh, we got a doubling one. Okay, spin this like so. Move this like so. Make me some money. Make me some money. 3.7 million. Make that instead, my friends. 5.2 million. Oh God, yes, I will pay my rent early. This is fine. The game knows how to process this, I'm sure. It's okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, um, as you can see, I have 52 million gold now because um, this this video has gone kind of completely off the rails. I have gotten all of the relics. Uh, they don't even fit on the screen. I have to go right now to see all of the relics. And I'm going to do a giga spin. Uh, I get to select a column to respin entirely, which is um, what I'm going to do. I'm going to respin this column here in the middle because why not? Then I can choose to swap two symbols. I will choose to put this lovely rare gold symbol let's say we put it here yes and now we're just going to spin around and hopefully make a lot of money as you can see we're on 52 million and uh now we're going to make ah oh yes another 400,000. this is the problem with the giga economy i've made it's absurd i make far too much money and when the rent comes around every 10 spins i have to pay 1.8 e4 which let's see how much that is oh it was like maybe 40 grand uh well i make 10 times that every spin if not more this is the nightmare i live in. Is it tax evasion? It's probably tax evasion, but that's fine. We love tax evasion. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this has been an absurd video. I hope you've enjoyed the complete dissection of this game. We can go infinitely. The game won't stop. I can just keep spinning until eventually I've gotten 400 copies of every single relic in the known universe, and then the game, it would just it just won't end. It's just gonna keep on going, and I'm I'm a god, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. Um, I'm, I have to end it here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a like why not consider subscribing you lazy bastard if you haven't done it already and of course a massive thank you to each and every one of these majestic patreons look at them they're fantastic they give me money just like this glorious slot machine and yes if you sat there wondering what video to watch next look no further than this one on screen now chosen by myself to be perfect for you anyway i'll see each and every one of you in the next one have a lovely day and goodbye for now